Kanye West is certainly enjoying the good life having achieved billionaire status, which has afforded him a long list of luxuries including property all over the world with multiple mansions in Beverly Hills, New York City, a Yeezy farm in Wyoming, and his own private island in the Caribbean. You gotta check out this bathroom. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, jeez. It's fantastic. He even recently picked up his childhood home in Chi Town because he could. It's out that uh, Kanye West bought the house. Oh. He bought it from the other organization. He paid about two twenty-five for it, two hundred twenty-five thousand for it. He's got about sixty thousand in repairs that he's put on the permit. So he's apparently spending about two hundred eighty-five thousand to renovate the house where he lived until when he was a child, where his mother lived until 2004. His car collection over the years includes a Porsche Panamera, a Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss, SLR McLaren, Lamborghini Gallardo, and Aventador, Aston Martin DB9, Maybach 57, Bugatti Veyron, Ferrari 458 Italia, Rolls Royce Ghost and Phantom, and he recently debuted his brand new tank on his May cover for GQ, and it appears he has more than one. He's also bought Kim a few whips just cuz and was surprised by this new baby. I loved it so much in Miami and I kept on talking about it. He's also splurged on some ridiculously expensive designer goods over the years, including his custom turret watch, gold-plated toilets, and Kim's engagement ring. Kanye has been calling himself a billionaire for years, contradicting Forbes estimates at the time. The recent news is that in 2020, Kanye was officially ranked on Forbes billionaire list with an estimated net worth pegged at $1.3 billion, but with this news, he still wasn't happy and notified them publicly that their estimates were short by about $2 billion. We have lots to get through in this video. What's going on guys? and girls, I'm Karen. Welcome back to a brand new series we've titled The Billionaire Life, here for you in Famous Entertainment. Here we're gonna take an in-depth look at the luxurious lifestyles of the rich and famous, but unlike our other series, not everyone is gonna make the cut. This is for those who have made money into the hundreds of millions and are living like the kings and queens of today. As always, I need you guys to keep suggesting me who to do next. Follow me on Instagram at Kara underscore EMI, subscribe if you're new, and now let's get into our first episode of The Billionaire Life, here in Famous Entertainment. We are going to skip over the come up story of Kanye, but we're going to take a quick look at his business portfolio to identify his various sources of revenue, which have gotten him to the billionaire dollar mark. Kanye West is the highest paid person in hip hop for 2019, beating out Jay Z with an estimated 150 earned from album sales, concerts, and streaming numbers. His entire music catalog, from the college dropout to Jesus is King and everything in between, is worth about 110.5 million, according to a valuation by the Valentium Group, and makes him money year after year. He's also big into investments to a tune of 35 million, and the man is also big into real estate with over 100 million put into property and land. In fact, he told Charlemagne that he wanted to be. I'm gonna be one of the biggest real estate developers of all time, like some what Howard Hughes was to aircrafts and what Henry Ford was to cars. All that makes him a very rich man, but most of West's fortune that got him to billionaire status didn't come from his music or property. The majority of his money comes from his footwear and apparel brand Yeezy, a line he started in 2009. And with him receiving a 15% royalty on everything sold, he's thought to be netting as much as $1.4 million a year off the brand. Anyway you spin it, Kanye has done mighty well for himself, so let's see how he spends his vast fortune. The man has definitely bought some crazy purchases over the years only a billionaire would buy. At the last moment, Kanye West pulled the album art he had lined up for fellow rapper Pusha T's 2018 album, Daytona. The art was replaced with a photo of Whitney Houston's messy drug-filled bathroom which was taken directly after the star was discovered dead in her bathtub. Kanye paid a whopping 85 k to secure the right to license the haunting image and explained it was what people needed to see to go along with this music. Kanye is known to be obsessed with himself, and this custom Tourette watch in his collection proves it. Of course, this isn't his only watch, but this one is worth mentioning considering it has his face on it. Eight carats of brown, yellow, black, and white diamonds were used to create Kanye's mug on the face of the watch, costing $180,000. And if you think that's a lot for jewelry, Kanye spoiled his wife Kim even more with her engagement ring. This flawless 15 carat cushion cut diamond he got her set him back a massive 
four million dollars. Wouldn't that be nice? The diamond comes from Lorraine Schwartz and is a big upgrade from the original ring he proposed with, which is estimated to be worth around 1.6 million. That would be nice too. This ring was stolen in Paris along with other jewels worth 10 million back in 2017. Kanye's love of bling doesn't stop at jewelry though. He wakes up like royalty in the morning to gold-plated toilets as well. Now, I think these may have been installed in one of his previous mansions, but nevertheless, it was a thing. Four of these gold toilets cost Kanye a large sum of 750,000 to install in his home. But how about where him and his fam are living now? Kanye has a mansion in Los Angeles that is quite literally a work of art. Kanye. Yo. <laughs> um, I'm here to ask 73 questions. I'm ready. Uh, babe, this is for me. Uh. The kids are in the room. <laughs> Kim, Hi. so I catch you guys home together. Is this like a rare thing? It is really rare, so lucky you. This pristine gallery-like home is the brainchild of Kanye and renowned architect Axel Vervoort. Reportedly, Kanye wanted a home where the architecture would communicate to humanity an understanding of proportion and spaces and the way it affects your mood. This mansion is very zen-like with its large light-filled rooms, minimal furniture and lighting, and all white and beige tones. After buying the property, Kanye spent a reported $20 million to renovate the 15,667 square foot home, and it's now worth an estimated $60 million. But as Forbes is quick to point out, customized real estate often sells for less than the money put in, as buyers in that price range tend to want their own features. Just ask MJ. He's had his Chicago home on the market for almost a decade. In October of last year, Kanye spent a further $3 million to buy up more land around the property, roughly 1.49 acres, and plans to transform the combined properties into a private farm for his kids. Real estate has always been a huge interest to Kanye. He once said, I'm gonna be one of the biggest real estate developers of all time. Anybody who's been in any of my cribs knows that I'm super into developing homes. And he ain't lying. Kanye also owns 312 acres of land in Calabasas on which he's developing a series of Star Wars inspired dome housing structures to serve as low income housing. Finally, at least in terms of real estate holdings, Kanye also recently purchased some property near Cody, Wyoming for 14 million where he has a 4,000 acre ranch with horse barns, corrals, two small cabins near a private lake, a cattle ranch, a live-in caretaker, a bird barn with room for 1,500 birds, and his own private mountain range with panoramic views. What was the first thought of space that led you to opening up like this in Calabasas and in Cody, Wyoming? What was the seed of coming to a ranch? I was looking for a spot to start the Yeezy campus and we needed thousands of acres. So we went to the Caldera house in Jackson Hole and started looking for property in Wyoming. He also reportedly has around $30,000 on livestock that live there. More importantly, and circling back to his business side, Kanye has recently decided to move his Yeezy headquarters to this property and is employing Cody residents to run the factory and bolster the local economy. I'm standing outside the powwow garden here in Cody, Wyoming, where just a few hours ago, thousands of people turned out from as far away as Washington and Utah to see Kanye West and his 80-person choral group perform what he has been calling a Sunday service. People got treated to some gospel renditions of some of West's hits, including Father Stretch My Hands and Lost in the World. He recently picked up his childhood home, which is a humble 1,600 square feet, and was located on South Shore Drive. In 2016, the organization donned his house, founded in honor of of Kanye's mom Donda West acquired the childhood home after it was abandoned for years, but now it's in Ye's possession. What he plans to do with in the future remains a mystery, but I'm guessing he's gonna turn it into his own personal Graceland and a museum of his greatness. He's also said to be the owner of his own island in the Caribbean worth 14 million, but I can't 100% be sure if that's a fact. Aside from his epic real estate portfolio, Kanye also spends a lot on his luxury car collection. Some of his wheels include a matte black Porsche Panamera, SLR McLaren, Lamborghini Aventador, Lamborghini Gallardo, Maybach 57, Aston Martin DB9, and Ferrari 458 Italia. Not to mention he has both a Rolls Royce Ghost and Rolls Royce Phantom. All of these cars cost in the seven figure price range or more as far as I know. Another car Kanye has is his Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling 
Moss. This baby was limited in production to only 75 units, so if you're hoping to get one, think again. Kanye spent over 1 million on this rare car and it doesn't even have a windshield. He has to wear sunglasses while taking it out. Even more expensive in his garage is the Bugatti Veyron. Now out of production, Kanye bought this ultra luxurious car in 2014 for a whopping 2.4 million. With an acceleration speed of 0 to 16 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, the Bugatti Veyron uses a lot of fuel, so it's more of a collector's piece than one he cruises around in. Kanye also has a prom brawn red diamond that costs him 1.2 million. It's an armored SUV which can withstand both grenade attacks and landmines. It also has bulletproof glass. I don't know where he's using that or what he needs that for, but it's pretty cool. Rounding out Kanye's net worth, Forbes also registers over 3 million vehicles like a Ford F-150 Raptor pickup, a fleet of 10 Sherp ATVs, an anvil of UTVs, a Lamborghini, and a matte black tank. Eventually, will people come to visit here or is it for your family? Will people be able to experience these shelters you're developing? Yes, that will be some of the immediate goals within our lifetime. And when Kanye isn't traveling by ground, he flies in a private two-decker Boeing 747 plane. Apparently, it costs 200k per hour. That's how lavish this thing is. When used for normal air travel, this plane can fit 660 guests, so you can imagine how much room there is inside to roam around. Kim actually took her followers on a Snapchat tour of her husband's plane before, and we can see there's a bedroom suite, a chill space, aka living room, and a few spacious marble bathrooms among more. All right, that concludes our first episode of The Billionaire Life. What did you think? Be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. My name is Kara and be sure to subscribe, find me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!